Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 603. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 597 to 603. Hey, uh, I got three questions this week all from students asking, why in the world when you multiply 1.1 1 .1 times 100, does that mean you're increasing the sales by 10 percent? Well, let's just do the formula here, the math. Uh, in Excel the formula equals 100 times 1.1. Now this is a great example because we can see with our eyes and do this in our head 10 percent of 100 is 10 dollars so increasing this by 10 percent will give us 110. Now why in the world is this true? It comes from uh, factoring the under or understanding why this is true, uh, the tricky part is factoring, and you have to remember back to uh, algebra or something like that, or advanced arithmetic. Here it is. We have a hundred times ten percent. We can do that in our head. We know that's equal to ten. Now notice this is an equal sign, so ten equals this. No problem. Then we take a hundred plus ten, we get a hundred and ten. Now what I want to do is rewrite this equation here. Instead of having 100 plus 10, I want to take this 10 and use this as a substitute. So I'm going to take this and substitute for this and get this. 100 plus 100 times 10 percent. Now this equals 110. No problem. Now we can rewrite this. Notice it's 100 times some number and here it's 100 times what? Oh, 1. So I can rewrite it this way. 100 times 1, no problem. That's still 100 and 100 times 10 percent. Now, this is where factoring comes in. These things are multiplied by each other. If there's the same uh, factor here and here, you can, in essence, take it out. You could like draw that. Um, you factor it out, factor it. You pull those two out and you put it in front. Keep the multiplication sign and what's left inside? A 1 plus 10 percent. No problem. We can rewrite this. This is not actually the number that uh, calculators or Excel uses for calculating. It's 0.1, right? Well, we can add this together and get 1.1 and there it is. Then we don't need the parentheses. We just write 100 times 1.1. And so that's the reason that any time you see 1.1, why does that mean increase by 10 percent? There it is. All right, we'll see you next trick.